And here's one of those tutorials that make you wish you could apply it in real life. It would make life a lot easier and it would probably put the gyms out of business. But here we have a woman who already has a great figure and she's doing a little bit of yoga here. But what we want to do is we want to just grab this little bit here and we're just going to smoothen that out and make her good figure even better just for the sake of the photograph. So we're going to choose the filter and then we're going to choose the liquify. Now you'll see we've got this big brush here. And all we want to do is we're actually going to grab those and we're going to move them in. But the problem is if I do that, the arms are going to go like this. And she's going to look like one of those people out of the Fantastic Four, Mr. Elastic. So what we need to do is we need to protect the areas that we don't want to adjust. So first of all, we can shrink the brush size down. We could just grab the tool here. But the problem is dragging the tool here is we can't really see until we go back over the image how big our brush is. So we can just use the left bracket key on the keyboard to make it smaller or the right bracket key to make it bigger. Now choose the tool over here. This is called the freeze mask tool. When that's turned on, when we begin to paint now, we're going to paint with this red. Now this red is not going to appear in the final image. All it's simply going to do is just freeze that area so it can't be distorted. So if I look at the distort tool, notice it cannot distort that. So let's grab the freeze mask and we're going to go on the other side. And because it's very close to her body, we're just going to drop that brush down, make it really small down here. Just to make sure we just protect the areas we want to protect. And just go over the line a little bit just in case because sometimes there's some aliasing on those edges and we don't want to pick that up. Alright, now we're ready to go. We're going to grab our little push tool and use the same keyboard shortcut, use the right bracket key. We're going to increase that. Let's make it a bit bigger. And now we're just going to stuff the crosshair outside so we're not actually dragging right on it. We're just going to use the edge of it and just push it in a little bit. Move it down a little bit more and just push that in. There we go. And now we can do the same on the other side. Doesn't really need too much work, just a little bit. And there you go. As simple as that. And so we can use this. This works really great for all kinds of things. Works well on the arms. Sometimes you want to fix some of these areas. It can work for enhancing certain areas. And I'll leave the rest up to your imagination. But as you can see, we can just slightly push these images around and make quite a difference. So let's click OK. And now we're just going to apply that. And it's a very subtle effect. In fact, see, we got some of the aliasing there. Not so smart. We could. We could fix that simply enough. Actually, I'll show you how to fix that. We're just going to use the history brush, open up the history palette, and then we're just going to go to this point. Notice before when it's opened, and then liquefied. So just choose the point before it. We're just going to zoom in a little bit with our tool here. And then with our history brush selected, notice we're painting from that state. We'll drop the brush down a little bit, and all I do is just paint back in the old state without going too far. It's a little bit sensitive because it's right on the edge of that other one. We'll drop that down, and we'll just clean that up. And if we, if you happen to go over like that, simple, we just grab the liquify state and just paint that out. So we go back to the full size of the image. And there we go. There's our image with the little adjustment made.